hey welcome to this so Arch Sled X I've done a lot of videos on it already you probably know what it is so a viewer suggested that I install Arch Sled X on my phone that's the video that's, that's, that's the video so anyway without further ado let's switch to the other camera and get started all right here we go we're on limbo so yeah we're doing limbo x86 because I want to install the x86 version of arch and I already made an Arch Linux um, virtual machine off camera. So let's start her up. And boot. Yeah, it's been stuck on the screen for a couple of minutes now. I think it's frozen. Is it frozen? Uh, can we use a keyboard? Uh, let's try this again. Okay, so apparently after some really brief research, I decided I discovered I need an app called Termux, which is on the which is on F Droid. So we're gonna install Termux and install Termux and we have Termux. So let's open Termux and we are in Termux. So yeah, I think this is just a terminal but for Android. So let's get started with the steps. I'm just blindly following the guide here, so yeah. First up, we do um, PKG, update, and and PKG upgrade. No mirror or mirror group selected. You might want to select one by running Termux change repo. Well, I'm gonna run Termux change repo. So I think it's going through all the mirrors right now. So I'll just let it do its thing. Okay, now I need to install pRoot distro. Yes. Might as well run the termux change repo command. Uh, I want mirror group. I want mirrors in Europe. And there we go. Testing the available mirrors. Yep, all packages are up to date. Perfect. So now we can p root distro install install the Arch Linux. Oh, we're downloading Arch Linux. Wait, can I actually get SSH working on this? I have the sync pad right here for an SSH client. In case this does work, okay, extracting rootfs, please wait. Generation complete, perfect. Login with pRoot distro login Arch Linux. So I think this is how you install SSH after a little bit of reading. PKG, install, open SSH. Yes. And we are installing open SSH and we're done. So who am I first of all? I am u0 underscore a387. Okay. And what's my and I'm gonna change my password to just No, 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 no. Sorry, passwords do not match. Term ox term ox. And okay, now we just run SSHD to run SSH. And to test it, we have the old ThinkPad. All right, so I have the ThinkPad. Let's open up Alacrity and SSH. Um, U0A387 at, and I know this phone's IP address, 192.168.0.4. And it's, and after a bit more reading, it's on port 8022. Oh gosh, remote host identification has changed. Oh yeah, I tried to do some other SSH stuff, so let me fix that. Yes! Alright, and the password is Termux. Welcome to Termux, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. So it said, um, pRoot distro login Arch Linux. Okay, uh, LS. I'm 
unlocking his route right now, so let's see if I can pseudo Pac-Man dash S fast batch. S Y U fast batch. Ah, we don't have pseudo. Well, I am route anyway, so I don't even need it. And let's install all of that. All right, so we're gonna fast batch. We're currently just connected by it. Okay, okay, okay. We have root local host Arch Linux arm. We're running Linux kernel 6.2, which is kind of old, but whatever. We're gonna exit and run fast fast fetch and it shows up as android android rel 15 on a google pixel 8 running linux kernel 6.1.99 up for eight days with 91 packages yeah. yeah 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 this is um this is it let's let's get back into arch we're back now, can I actually pre-root distro uh, install Debian dis pre-root error distro not found out pre-root hyphen distro? Oh my gosh, I can install Debian. And we're in Debian. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna log back into Arch and maybe try and get some stuff working. So, um, all right, and I set the password, you cannot see that, I set the password to two marks. Oh my gosh! It's working! It's actually working! Okay, okay, okay. I right, do that, do that, do that. This is VNC running on two marks, running on Arch. There we go. Now, the original person said that I should run Super Tux Cart on here, so you know what we're doing now. Yes, install Super Tux Cart. Oh no, this is gonna, oh no, this is gonna take forever. This is gonna take forever. <sighs> it's literally been like two minutes and it's, installing i am curious to see how this runs because yeah done so let's see can i run can i run it games super tux cart for those who don't know i actually play super tux cart every once in a while oh my gosh oh no oh can i resize this window Okay. No audio, unfortunately. Uh, local name, root, sure. Sure. Would you like to play the tutorial? No, I want to change the graphic settings because this is not. Oh no, I need it smaller. Oh no. All right, so we're on the main computer now. The other one was just not really working that well. Go right. Connection refused. Okay, I can. I think Termux is not work. All right, now let's see if this works. Connected. And I just realised the angle that this is at. There we go. That's a better angle. There we go. Now let's try it again. And password is Termux. Oh, We're loading up. We are loading up. Perfect. All right, let's see here. Can we run Super Tux Cart? Oh, yeah, we have Super Tux Cart. And from experience, this takes forever. I'm gonna keep the um the VNC logs on here. Info, Shader Files Manager, compiling shader. A uh, user share Super Tux Cart data shaders. Okay, so it's compiling piling all the shading. Oh! We're getting open AL errors. Loading. Oh, that worked. I know we have our full background and oh my gosh, this is... Oh yeah, this is taking forever. Oh no! 
It's lagging so bad. I think we're literally getting like two frames per second of performance on this. So let me zoom in. Script on start. Start driving tutorial. Ready? Set. Go. Can I steer right? Can I steer left? Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if we can at least beat the tutorial. I'm gonna put it on a time-lapse, maybe for, I don't know. Do it. Yes! Okay, so we did the, um... We did the tutorial, and that's all. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching me suffer through this adventure of trying to get Arch running on my phone. I'll probably keep this long term, just so that I can have, you know, Arch on my phone. But anyway, this is it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.